In this video, you will learn about the full arch scanning strategy. Lower arch. Place a clean scan tip on the scanner with the mirror facing down for lower arch scanning and use your finger or a dental mirror to create space between the teeth, lips and cheeks. The recommended scanning path consists of three sweeps, occlusal, lingual and buckle to ensure good data coverage of all surfaces. The best scanning method is to start with the molar occlusal surface since it has greater details for easier identification. Wait three to five clicks, then move towards the incisors. Slowly wiggle the scanner when passing the centrals and continue until you reach the last molar. Remember to move your scanner smoothly without jumping around. When you reach the last molar, turn slowly lingual taking care, firstly, of areas where soft tissue may interfere with the scan. Roll the scanner 60 to 90 degrees to the lingual side. Use the tip to keep the tongue away. Go along the lingual surface of the whole arch until you reach the last molar on the opposite side. Roll to the buckle side and complete the buckle swipe. Go along the buckle surface of the whole arch. Use your finger to keep the cheek away. Inspect the result by rotating the scan. If an important area is missing, simply start scanning the area again. When scanning is complete, you can inspect the result and prepare the scan by trimming unnecessary parts. Upper arch. As an option, you can choose to turn the tip up for easier upper arch scanning. Use your finger or a dental mirror to create space between the teeth, lips and cheeks if necessary. The recommended scanning path consists of three swipes. Occlusal, buckle, and palatal to ensure good data coverage of all surfaces. Start the scanner while it rests occlusal on the molar. Wait three to five clicks. Move towards the centrals, capturing the occlusal surface. Slowly wiggle the scanner when passing the centrals and again continue along the occlusal surface until you reach the last molar. Turn slowly buckle by rotating the scanner 60 to 90 degrees at the last molar and complete the buckle swipe, taking care of areas where soft tissue may interfere with the scan. Go along the buckle side until you reach the last molar on the opposite side. Then roll to the palatal side and complete the swipe. Go along the whole arch. If you wish to include the palate into the scan, swipe back to position the scanner behind the incisors and then slowly go from side to side across the palate in the distal direction. When scanning is complete, you can inspect the result and prepare the scan by trimming unnecessary parts. If an important area is missing, simply start scanning the area. Occlusion scan. Insert the scanner into the mouth and drag it to the side you wish to scan. Let the tip hold out the cheek. Position the scanner on the buckle side of the molars. Ask the patient to bite firmly and start by scanning at the most distal position, moving slowly forward. 
align the scan area in bite to see 50-50 of the upper and lower teeth. Keep scanning until both scans will snap into position and the jaws are aligned onto the blue bite. Scans should cover at least three to four teeth for perfect alignment, even if scans snap together earlier. Then do the same for the opposite side. When finished, the scans of the upper arch and lower arch are placed in the correct occlusion. Let's go over the important part regarding full arch scanning. The anterior teeth during the first occlusal swipe. You have to capture both the oral and labial side of each tooth, from the canine to canine. You do this with one of the two following strategies. The first one is to wiggle the scanner tip up and down over the incisal edge, making sure that the software stitches over the edge on both sides. The second option is to wiggle over the anteriors by rolling the scanner tip while slowly moving forward. Either way, it's crucial to get a coverage of both sides to get the best quality and precision. By using this scan strategy, you will get the highest accuracy and the smoothest scan experience. Thank you for watching our video. Now you know how to do a full arch scan with the correct strategy.